Good afternoon, people. I am the Blue Wizard. And I need to mute my audio because I am still waking up. I am the Blue Wizard. I am joined by Deathlike here in the booth. Uh, we welcome you this morning, this afternoon, depending on what portion of the world you are in. Uh, this is the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise Randomizer Tournament Zemus Zone 5, or Highway to the Zemus Zone 5. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm the Blue Wizard. This is Deathlike in the booth with me. We have a awesome restreamer, Scala Kitty, and our amazing tracker, Ribbon Quest. You can see that we have a variety of uh, bosses to choose from this evening, or this day. Uh, Deathlike, what can you tell us about uh, our chosen bosses here? Uh, I don't, don't uh, it's a mystery to everyone, if, I, if I'm reading the screen correctly. But uh, we're guaranteed to have uh, Alt Gauntlet and Golbez regardless. Um, and uh, I think uh, you can see the screen populating uh, fav some favorites. Uh, so I see Bygen, Mombomb, uh, King Queen Eblin, Plague, and a few other, uh, Mylon Zed, and Dark Elf, uh, so that's and that's an exciting crew. Uh, I think the, the most interesting one probably is Bygen. Uh, you have, I mean, you have three parts. So uh, if you have Quake, particularly Quake Kid, uh, things will be a little bit easier if uh, he shows up in the scene. Yep, and you know, I was just thinking right before uh, the we, we saw the results of what is on screen for everyone uh, i was literally just about to start counting one potato two tomato three vegetables and uh you know they, they kind of are like vegetables you know we got mom bomb looking like a tomato we've got mylon z kind of looking like a potato and um plague just kind of looking like an angry an angry broccoli with wings which nobody wants to touch at certain spots uh, it's definitely a description. <laughs> and hey, speaking of Quake Kid, that's a, that's a start. So that that will get all our uh, run racers into uh, nice, nice, uh, nice into nicely. Uh, Quake Kid doesn't need that much in terms of levels to get started. One level means level two elementals, and that usually is good enough for a lot of the starting uh, uh, starting uh, characters for starting group uh, i mean it doesn't take much and we'll see who is our uh set. hey uh radia uh you can take a nap for a little bit we don't not worry about it but early spoon so edward bard yes that will um that will probably be a ch kind of a cherry on top of this sunday on a sunday I, I definitely agree and before my manners escape me uh we are watching or witnessing the race between garen 26 and alchemy uh both fantastic runners. Uh, they obviously would not be here without any uh, without any skill, uh, because it definitely does take some level of skill to have made it as far as the, these two have. Um, and you know, with getting that spoon at start, it's definitely going to be one of three options: dart it, hit with it, or just keep it as a key item. And we see right off the bat that both of our runners are already diverging. Garen going into the front of the Watery Pass and Alchemy heading over to Damsian Castle. A little bit of looting and a little bit of character check. We'll see what they get. I see a, a, I see a monk right, th right there. Uh, I think looting in the waterway is a, it's a kind of a nice, nice thing. Uh, especially even though we have T Wildish on, but uh, the loot is a little sweeter here as this is often not traveled route but with with the character early character checks free all free characters are available this is actually a pretty kind of lucrative spot to pick up uh items you need although right now it doesn't seem that the items picked up are were that of too much interest though agreed and you know one of the things that's not really talked about is the uh some of the spots that aren't so cut you know much like you mentioned how there are the spots that aren't so commonly checked, uh, you know, like uh, that are going to have the elevated loot table, like the front of Watery Pass, uh, the Mist Cave, um, and a couple of other spots. But you know, I feel like water the front of Watery Pass is a good safety net because, for the most part, it's got a relatively good amount of you know uh, range of gear. Like I've picked up Zeus, I've seen Zeus Gauntlets, I've seen you know much like we saw the Power Staff. Um, 
it, so it's a good safety that it's actually a good concentration of chest number so i think there's what three four five six seven chests in front of watery pass uh had to, actually not account but i like the I like the waterfall the hidden waterfall which uh you if you were playing vanilla you'd normally miss but that, yep. but in but in in the randomizer it's emphasized because that's three valuable chests to add into the potential total and we are seeing sid at damsian i don't which be interesting hey bard on a perfectly bard. placed bard uh i believe that is a perfectly strategically placed bard that uh, nobody knew was coming and, uh, <laughs> yeah. now having that uh now having having that spoon at start is going to make this seed go by uh well potential potentially a lot quicker uh, because while the spoon will give Edward that 255 strength, he is still a bit of a glass cannon, meaning that uh, he'll only go ahead and take a hit or two before he's down for the count. Yeah. Um. Th um. Yeah. You. I mean, Edward, but uh, kind of, uh, kind of maligned without the spoon. With the spoon, uh, well, the glass cannon is. I mean, that's what it literally says. I mean, he can punch but can't take a punch. And oh, we see Odin on. And on um, Mount Hobbs, that's a definite skip, not required. Uh, for a lot of early places, you there's you know there's only four spots to check meet uh, for a guaranteed key item for the, the guaranteed progression you'll need to get down to the hook route. So uh, that those places are uh, Antline Cave, Fabul, uh, Baron Inn, and Mount Ordeal. So uh, that current densest spot of all of them would be uh, Mount Ordeals. You're probably and usually guarantee, although right we see DKC, so I guess pretty good chance they'll be taken and there'll be a Mount Ordeals trip for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. And um, I mean we've got a pretty good all-star cast here. I mean uh, uh, Edward with the spoon, Edge, uh, DKC, uh, it's I mean having you know someone like a Rose uh, Rosa early on it's gonna be a very high DPS team uh, and I am excited to see like where this is gonna go because uh, that's a Palum if I'm saying this correctly or is that a Pora? No it's uh, a Palum, there's no Pora there, yeah, no. there are your white mage, this seed is literally uh, Rydia and so uh, you're gonna hoping for an Ashura I think the, the the, pl the plan to go here is power overwhelming through Berserkers with uh, Radia uh, being your primary healer. And that, and when you are using Radia as primarily primary healer, uh, that that means you you have to kind of change shift your strategy a certain way. And that means yeah, power overwhelming, and it has to be done through all uh, everyone contributing with punches. Yep. And I uh, I definitely agree. Uh, I. <laughs> I mean, we did see Asira picked up in the watery pass there, at least on Garen's side. Um, and speaking of Garen, we see Garen going after Demist over here, which is unfortunately not going to be uh, able to be turned in, unlike in the Red Moon Seed. Bit of a trade-off in the Blue Moon Seed, Demist will not allot you a key item or a potential key item. We instead have the uh, Sleeping Bard over in Troya uh, that will potentially give you one. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, really, have you have you lived playing free enterprise if you haven't gambled on a 33% all of the time Asira life tick? Well, if I, I like those odds when at least one care one or two characters are down, then the life tick the life chance becomes 100%. You want you just as long as it's something useful, then it's, it works 100% of the time. That's how I look at it. Like that's yeah. there have there have been uh, some. Some seeds where I've seen Azura used to, to perfection, where two characters down, but you could have wanted the heal, and hey, it life happened, and everything still went still went the racer's way. So I can't say it's 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 a bad thing. Um, they're also the the free um, you know having especially in the blue uh, in the blue moon flex it uh, the the free key item at Troya is a good place also to get loot. I mean, you're, you're, since you're there, there, even if you don't get an early earth crystal, although preferable, um, you can get some 
that's the public treasury that you have some decent access to. That's like nine items concentrated in that section. So it's while not as valuable as the um, as the waterway, but still, it's it's probably like next tier when you don't have uh, uh, the earth crystal access. Agreed. And we see on Alchemy's side uh, that she's going into Evelyn Castle very early on, which is kind of a kind of a, a very spicy play because, I mean, as we've seen so far, um, we've seen a ninja hat pick up, we've seen a power shirt, definitely some very strong items to pick on, uh, pick up on early, especially this. What are we uh, eight minutes into the seed already, uh, which will definitely help out that Spoonie Bard not only hit harder, but also give him some survivability this early on in the game. Uh, see, early Avenger, that, mean, that means, hello, let's go, let's go to Mount Ordeal's ASAP. That's what, that's what it, it says. <laughs> no Kanan seed, no, no, one to, no one to steal away the Avenger off of you. Uh, unless, unless you want to throw it, but uh, no reason to do that. Uh, you just, just try, need to find a decent sword to, to go with it. Ideally, ideally some Burr, Excal, or Crystal Sword, uh, the, the, essentially the strongest weapons available to one character and one character only. But again, that requires Cecil to take that visit to Mount Ordeals. And uh, look, it looks like uh, hey, uh, Gurren's decided uh, for the uh, football defense for right now. Yep, definitely not a bad play. And he is rewarded by getting the one of the freest fights of the game. Good old King and Queen Evelyn. Yeah, the the, the King and Queen Evelyn doesn't scale too well. Not uh, just kind of just a free, and usually it's a free fight. Unfortunately, um, when 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 it means free a free fight early means that you're not gonna fi find free uh, is that as many free fights late. So it's unfortunate used at this at this spot. Uh, not it's like not too bad a position. But it's also, um, you know, one of the things, you know, as a racer, you don't, you kind of get what you get. Well, it just kind of, you keep, you kind of keep track on how many, you know, how many harder or easy bosses that are available on, in the, remaining in the seat. And that, hey, at least it's an objective. So, you, you know, no worries. This, um, doing this early isn't a penal, it's not going to penalize. Yep. And, um, you know, it, because of where it is on the overworld, uh, for those who don't know, King and Queen uh, of Evelyn have a script that's run in the background that their health actually depletes as the fight goes on, which is why they just kind of disappear. Um, the Queen's speed at which she takes her turns is based off of the King's agility. Uh, so having having a fast anchor in that spot will uh, cause her to go ahead and take her turns quicker to go ahead and get her life to take down that much faster. Uh, so the fight is relatively free, but it becomes less free in some of those more high hit point spots, kind of like a giant one with 65,000 health. Uh, so yeah, definitely seeing that early on, getting that free fight out of the way real quick. Uh, and I actually just noticed that uh, Gordon does not have Edward on, hit, on his side, uh, their side. And we'll definitely probably see uh, that you know that side go by just a little bit quicker once once we realize that uh can get a little extra haste going yeah so found some found some hanzo steel oh, at least found some hanzo steel uh Merzame. so uh at edge is mostly online probably needs a decent second weapon but that's that's good okay Merzame is a lot kind of gets well, there a lot a long way in there uh, Gurren found the Darkness Crystal at Fabul. That is very spicy. No, zero chance that Magma Key will be found on the moon or anything connected to. So that's, so that that's one of the one of the kind of the quirks of the hook of the forced hook route. Uh, your your hook will not get you the Magma Key. You will always find hook, and it will always it will it will always be on the overworld. Fortunately, so that's that's the good thing. Uh, boss, those. So that's a. So it's, at least if you want to take an early moon, that would be something, or the early grind, that could be something to do. But for now, I don't, uh, it's not the thing to, it's probably at least for, you know, if you just start, if you've ever start playing uh, Free Enterprise, this that's probably not something you want to just do immediately. Kind of to defer that till you have enough uh, reasonable power. Right, exactly. And reasonable power can be anything from having uh, the right utility equipment, 
to the right characters with spell utility. Uh, people who have people like Tella or Fusaya who have spells like Stop, Weak, Stone, uh, because and in you know, or even just having hourglasses because um, while we're all in favor of you know seeing a D money grind or um, a gold dragon grind. Um, it's not going to really mean much if you don't have the means to take them out without being taken out first. Uh, usually a safe, kind of a safe bet is if you have maybe Quake Kid to Quake, then maybe, but there's no, but uh, if you ever, if you've been thinking of doing a popular grind, the D, the D machine, or as we, as we call it here, D money grind, uh, you requires a Tela, and no, there is no Tela sighting, so that's, that is probably not, something not not on the table to be considered uh as much as we'd like hey there's there's an apple someone can eat that yep uh definitely good for our uh edward there with low with the low hp pool um and we know that uh and actually to go and kind of uh provide a bit of extra light and chat um uh, for this particular seat for the blue moon seat uh or flag set the, so there are a couple of bosses that can't cannot get your underground access. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is Valvalis and Wyvern cannot block your underground access. Uh, there's also Mr. Ha 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 Man himself, Golbez. So that so the, yeah, those are the those that those are the trio that you are guaranteed not to uh, require for a hook to getting obtaining hook. Can they can be there in there though to. Uh, to kind of ward you off and uh, uh, having participated in a seed where uh, one of them gated uh, some gated Mount Ordeals in which Tella and Cecil when existed uh, that is a that's a spicy tri kind of required trip so that's it's, sometimes it might not be what you what you need but it's actually what you want yep and uh, we're going up Mount Ordeals there, picking up his Edward, getting rid of Young, and I saw that Stardust Rod. So I don't know about you, but a Spoonie Bar plus uh, Tiara Stardust Rod of Rydia with uh, any summons really early on is gonna just blow up the overworld. Yeah, uh, but I kind of need to find the summons first. Uh, the freest of summons, I don't think either character has, has looked, uh, has uh, taking a peek at uh, Mount Hobbs, the icy path, the, the normal vanilla path that you'd have to do, where, you, where normally uh, Rydia would learn Fire One, not very particularly useful. So in the randomizer, uh, random summon uh, would be provided. Uh, pretty a lot of this week, a lot of the summons, excluding like uh, Leviathan, Bahamut, the, so, but a lot of the other all other summons are on the table. So that kind. Of, Makes that spot kind of valuable for Ryder and oh, this is not the place to find a CPU bolt. It is actually no, this is the place you want to find a CPU. Weak spot with uh, not as much HP as it wants. Yes, and uh, the only thing so CPU is not going to be really trouble in any spots per se. You know, you just got to take up that uh, defender orb and keep it from healing the main CPU. Uh, because the attacker, regardless of where you are in the game, it will always deal 10% of your character's max health. Uh, so definitely not bad if you have someone to heal through it. Uh, in this particular scenario on, like, for instance, Alchemy side, where there is no white mage or pseudo white mage, uh, it does make it a little bit trickier. However, uh, you know, seeing it this early on means that you don't have that much HP to go through. Uh, and to actually go ahead and answer or mention it here, uh, Guerin did go ahead and check the side of Hobbs, which was only the mage summon. Not particularly useful uh, in this seed. Yeah, um, mage summon, uh, my recollection, does not work on bosses with the boss bit because, and not. So it looks like it looks like all gauntlet. Uh, th that slight delay, if you if you if you feel or you kind of notice the slight delay, it's when you see a blue rope. It's all gauntlet, and and hey, here's your grind, early grind. Uh, probably only mostly useful for Palum, uh, Edward, and Rydia. Not so much Edge and Cecil's gonna lose all his XP anyway, so it's eh, whatever. He can he can take a nap. For, for, yep. for this ride, it doesn't matter. Edge will do most of the work. Yep. Uh, 
you know, it's that moment of your heart's going to drop for just a moment because Edge is only going to be most only mostly useful for this because there are those enemies that just absorb his flame attack. Yeah, the spirits and souls, uh, they, uh, they don't, they, the ones that cast fire, uh, you also, that also heals them. So, uh, actually when they're charmed, they, they, they cast fire one and they kind of heal themselves. So that's, you, you'll find out quickly, uh, you know, weaknesses, <laughs> monsters, uh, still not too bad. Um, I mean, Edward can probably take care of him by himself. Uh, Cecil, uh, looks like he got a black sword, which he will actually contribute that, which is a good thing to have, uh, on a, on a starting DKC. Yeah, getting that extra uh, plus three agility from the Black Sword, which I actually just found out existed recently, uh, is going to put him actually put him on par with some of the other characters who are a bit more useful. I think it, I think the Black Sword's like plus five to all stats except for willpower. It doesn't need any willpower. It, that, it's more of a signal that uh, and having less willpower, while well, he doesn't have magic, uh, he becomes vulnerable to. Uh, like sleep and uh, paralysis, much like the the duration. Those those last longer. So, no, oh, it doesn't really matter for him. He's not he's not locked too long for this world. If we want we want uh, Burr and we want Holy Paladins. The, the, the DKC good for the occasional wave for uh, certain scenarios. Uh, although much more reflected in when you fight a DKC when he shows up. Yep. If only our DKC could hit for that hard. That would be that would be splendid. Yeah, I think the dark the, the dark wave is actually nice in some ways, but the thing is, it scales off of the attack power, and so and and the attack multipliers. The kind of issue, uh, at least when you have D DAC, is that um, his best weapon is a black sword, and attack power not so. It's good enough early game, but it does not. It, that doesn't scale very well late game. Whereas when you see uh, Mirror TKC, uh, it, that um, the uh, um, kind of affectionately know him as Pain Man, and the pain hurts because it, does, it ignores defense. Uh, your characters don't have are not zombie are not undead, so doesn't so you can't really re reduce the damage. So that's so those are kind of those are kind of things that uh, you know kind of at least uh, TK. TKC can be useful when you when you have a when you have uh, bosses without the boss bit, so always Agreed. worth looking for. Yeah, and uh, well, I mean, always wor worth hoping for bosses that you can just kind of plow through real easy uh, on ordeal, so you can get to the paladin quicker. Uh, and as you know, we've seen that uh, Avenger has been picked up, and that's just gonna that's just gonna make this a cool C because all of the characters are gonna go burr. <laughs> yeah, it looks uh, looks like this is uh, we got picked up the sand ruby, so not useful key item. Although for uh, for the purposes of this tournament, it's been named nicknamed the sad ruby because uh, since there are no free, no characters that you can pick up outside of the free characters you can pick up, uh, it holds no real value outside. And hey, a boss that we don't have to worry about later, uh, rude boss Kinazo. But so this is a below HP spot, easily taken care of. Yep, and um, I mean, it, it's it is the saddest ruby, and it has no monetary value. Uh, no monetary value, can't get character from it. Uh, you know, at least the magma key, if that were viable for use in the seed, uh, would hold about. Actually, yeah, it would hold a bit more value than the sand ruby, but. Hey, you know what? It's uh, it is a fourth key item, uh, one key item closer to being able to get that double experience, that sweet, sweet experience. Yeah, when you, uh, I mean, we'll probably mention it later. But when when t uh, ten key items gets you double XP and effectively makes your grind half as long. So that's so that's and that's the goal. Um, some some seeds you might you might get up. Oh, all the key items that you ever want and then there's some seats where wait, where are the key items are they on the moon and the, when you have when they're on the moon well there'll be some exciting times ahead so as a plot twist would allow the key items are gated by the key items which are hidden behind the boss that you'll never touch because that's the way rng is gonna random 
Yeah, I thought there, that time that you fade a boss that you actually need, uh, that happen, that's, that's happened to everyone. And uh, looks like a Mylon. I don't rem I don't think we found a Mylon, so maybe hoping for the Mylon Z that's required for our runners. Uh, look, looking to figure out what the weapon is. Oh, back row glitch, the backward Cecil, because one of the things that hap does happen is that Cecil, uh, when even though you never really get to uh, get the back row glitch on uh, on DKC, uh, he kind of removed. Even if he if you were able to back row glitch, uh, it's removed on pawn change. Not doesn't matter too many seeds, but that was a quick Mylon Z fight. So, hey, that's hey, that's something. Mylon Z, where where Mylon dead? Uh, yeah, that I mean Mylon Z in that spot, real quick, real easy. Uh, objective out of the way. Uh, bring in Gwern up to one, two, three objectives. Ah, ah. Uh, we see, speaking of DKC, right there in that spot. I like it. Mylon, see you later. Um, DKC in this spot is going to be a little tricky, but getting Pure 2 off right there means uh, Edge only has to suffer two more Dark Waves, because in this particular flag set, we do have three bosses on, meaning that you only have to withstand three Dark Wave attacks, and then the fight's over. However, seeing DKC in the wrong spot, means you're going to be taking a lot more damage yeah uh, I mean in tougher spots you have to do more uh, healing but this is this isn't too bad and there's no XP to be gained from the spot so we don't care if people fall as long as they all do not fall so we're, we're good the only thing to the only caveat to DKC is if for um, do not punch do not try to punch it that's the only thing that matters uh otherwise you reset to the dark wave count and then there'll be more than the three required that will think you get like kind of get another two so it's like don't don't punch him unless you just i want you want to kill him otherwise leave him alone let him let him make a speech and move on <laughs> yep do not attack do not pass go do not try to collect 200 gil from him uh he will reset that counter as you stated and as chat points out, we uh, we that is a actually that is a very beautiful spot to see DKC in because you get that free rest, you don't get experience from the fight, uh, so it doesn't matter if your entire party is just about dead uh, because none of them are gonna get miss out on experience. Uh, we see Gwern going on to that water uh, waterfall, and that is a sparkle, I think, with a uh, angry blarg. And that is a reset. I do not blame him for doing that. I would do the same. Yeah, that's not. Wyvern's not requiring the seed, uh, and that and we lo we lovingly call it Wyvern Blar because first first turn Mega Nuke. Uh, there actually there is insert a delay, uh, so you can try to get uh, a Star Veil off uh, boss. Uh, I mean Wyvern is lo is affectionately. Uh, Kind of single-handedly uh, reset, reset heaven uh, and wipes unfortunate wipes. So those, so when you always save early, save often. Don't don't try. If you don't, if you if you forgot to save, save again. Yep, uh, and we also see on uh, Gwern's side, uh, OG Blarg, uh, who, oddly enough or ironically enough, is not a dragon all on his own. Uh, he is just a creature with wings. Uh, and, you know, that, as we've seen, it's not a required boss, so we're just going to nope out of that, and we see a check over on Evelyn, where, where we'll go ahead and find all of his shiny, shiny items, Artemis Bow. I did not see that earlier in Artemis Bow, uh, which is handy for exactly almost nobody. Uh, I mean, you know, we can go and equip it on Edward or Cecil, uh, Sid, but... I mean, who needs who needs an Artemis bow when you have a spoon? Yeah, the Artemis bow normally great, uh, but the one thing about the Artemis bow, uh, it, it, I mean, it's great for Sid. Although I think the, our, our our runners are probably going to use Sid as an anchor, so having that Artemis bow uh, for uh, for Sid would probably be kind of productive. But the biggest thing with the Artemis bow is it. Uh, new, it reduces the spell power of spell power powering stats for a mage, so it's kind of like having a heroin robe, but for every character that can equip a bow and arrow. The 
but it's not as damaging for spell power. Still, it's not for this con con party construction, not as useful as you, you would think. Uh, I mean, you, Radio having a stat stick, you want you want her, whatever you want her magic effectively online. Although, uh, except for when, except for Jura, Jura doesn't <laughs> Jura can actually take. Um, it's really high spell power, so the healing is actually pretty powerful, even if Raida has a Harun robe. So, one of those one of those rare things where uh, her, uh, things like an Artemis bow won't hurt too much. Definitely, we see uh, Gordon getting himself or on the over and through the Madurka chest, um, and definitely that divergence. You see, uh, well. Who's going to get what, how quickly they're going to get it, and who's going to be the first runner through that uh, crowd. Have we have we found a decent sword for Cecil yet? I think the Artemis will actually might be good for Cecil at this point. It's, it's, uh, yeah. If I mean, outside of a defense sword or light sword or some, something in that vein. Oh, help, well, no, we found Burr. Never mind. Let's yep. let's uh, skip to let's skip to Burr. Not talk about uh, weapons that are irrelevant. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, actually, uh, kind of quickly. So, I don't think Word has found it yet, but uh, they did find the Crystal Sword, but I don't believe they found one because uh, there's two Avengers in here. So, I don't, but I don't think they they found one of them just yet. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for a Crystal Sword, but uh, Avenger is a nice non-consumable item. Or a, essentially a free Bacchus. I, it's actually I would say it's stronger than a Bacchus in the sense not not the weapon itself, but the effect, the auto berserk functionality uh, makes life easier. Although in certain bosses, uh, <laughs> the auto berserk is a hindrance. Uh, certain like certain uh, fights, like say Golbez, where uh, you do want actual control of your character, or you'll you'll see. Uh, the Avenger wielding Cecil flail away uh, for the first part and do no damage and waste turns and th that uh, the bad experience, a <laughs> bad longer longer waits can be had. Let's put it that way. Yep, and uh, we see. Well, I mean, literally as I was speaking the words, we saw Guerin go ahead and pick up that uh, that Avenger, which I mean, do you? Okay, never mind. I was going to say, do you keep continuing down the uh, right tower, or do you uh, just kind of nope out when you pick up that Avenger? But um, seeing that there was a Masamune uh, in that last chest, I, I would just kind of keep going. But I, I do like the, the routing here, kind of skipping that middle path in Evelyn Castle and just going down the right one, because you know it's going to take you out. And with the lack of exits in this seat, uh, so far, it is definitely a, a good route. Maybe pick up a couple of more defensive pieces of equipment and uh, maybe a little something extra to help the seed you know, just be a little bit easier. Well, I mean, ten, right now, I mean, the Masa, uh, technically, um, with, the mur with the early Muro, um, that, that kind of balances out, ed that gives edge full capabilities. But I think, and the source of exit would actually come from Cecil, uh, requires uh, learned at level 19. So Cecil learns it pretty early. I mean, when you get Cecil, it resets a uh, level to one. So that may, and pretty much will almost guarantee uh, a slingshot, uh, like an early sw slingshot. Uh, slingshot being that um, the character is um, the character is less than the median level of the character of all the characters. So the median, not the average, the middle level. So, so it has so typically so in most most characters start at ten or above. So and by now having fought a few have fought a few battles, easily uh, above that level. Yep, and we see uh, alchemy through the Fable Castle, uh, and we're getting prep to go through the hook route. I, I'm kind of curious to see who's going to be on this hook route. Um, there are a few bosses that will make life miserable. I think Ogo would be probably be top of the list of mis probably one of the worst things because of lack of a healer. Uh, there are a few other ones, like maybe Demist, that would be 
that would they're still on the table that uh, right now uh Garen's still uh saluting with a nice power, free power shirt so edge can t oh actually no uh edward can have a have a shirt a power okay. shirt that's also nice so but um there aren't too many but i would say uh ogo uh and or demist uh demis would also kind of slow down cease a little bit but other than that uh not i mean anything that demands healing that would be problematic oh and I, okay so i don't know if gerd picked up a second tr or not but that tr sale oh, <laughs> to get to leviathan uh so i mean I, tr stardust rod radio with the leviathan uh much like I was mentioning earlier, uh, it's going to make for a very rough time, and there's one for sale, so never mind. <laughs> if, you don't, uh, yeah, if you don't find it, it's great. <laughs> That's yeah, fine. That's fine. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it, they've got one equipped to her already. Um, interesting. Okay, give, we're giving it to, uh, to Palom. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes. And, uh, you know, you know, that's like, you've heard of one power shirt. But how about two? Maybe we can get four in this scene. One for everyone. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> everyone. Everyone. You get a power shirt. Sure. You, you get a get power, the shirt. power shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, also a uh, uh, really high valued, and even if uh, you get an overwhelming number of shirts, you can sell it for money that you can buy for something else. At this point, I don't think we really need any more gear. I mean, found from the yeah. burr found uh hans of steel and we got a spoon so at this point uh looting might be might be kind of unnecessary that i mean uh, maybe you get some decent maybe get uh see some iron uh some armor adam armor notwithstanding uh, not uh, not <laughs> not enabled on this flag set so we're not um they're pretty much um kind of, unless we're look i'm not sure what we're looking for in terms of equipment maybe about maybe levels for cecil uh, that that's about all we can really hope for maybe a little more power juice gauntlets maybe yeah the only things i can think of to to maybe search for in trap chest at this point um you know like that zeus gauntlet uh to, to just kind of complete an edge or a cecil uh or maybe even something like a second stardust rod which actually based off that pole right there from that chest that tells me i think he, uh that garen was just looking for a second uh stat stick for what for Rydia. Because we saw that they gave the the Stardust Rod to Palom, which left Radio without one. And uh, picking up that Change Rod is going to be, that's a what, a plus 5 or a plus, I think that's a plus 10 for uh, Wisdom, right? It's, no, it's plus 5. Uh, five. Plus 10 is a Charm Rod. Charm Rod, that's, yeah. okay. CH, you know, I was, I was close. Uh, and a random Zeus Gauntlet. Okay. So, we want the seed to go quick, right? That that's what uh, the seed is trying to tell us. Okay, I mean, right now nothing really suggests a jet seed, but you know, anything can change. It's uh, uh, yeah. it's just, so I have interesting uh, decision by Alchemy to to look uh, probably doing Zot one. There is uh, can't do Zot two because that requires the Earth Crystal. But it's interesting peak. I mean, nothing. Uh, I. I I always think that this uh, this check, like if you just you know, basically a earthless check on Zot, uh, it only for maybe it's maybe it just for me thinking about it, it's like I wonder if it just makes more sense to to check it if that you're looking for your last boss instead of just just peeking because if the, in the worst case you'll double dip this if you don't find if you don't find uh, uh if you don't if you, you know if you don't find the, uh, a boss that you that that is that you're looking for. Definitely, and um, you know, when, when I mentioned about Jet Seed, I, I'm talking that you know we found Crystal Sword, Avenger, Stardust Rod, uh, Sork Robes, Tiaras, both both Hanzo Steels, uh, the Masamune and the Murasame. Um, so it, I don't, I am really curious to know like why the trap chest. Like, is it just for quick experience? Is it just to you know make the power overwhelming that much more powerful? Um, you know, maybe are we hoping for maybe a Bahamut? Uh, I think. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, well, we found Mr. Ha Ha himself on Zop uh, One, which is this is gonna pay off for Alchemy, unless 
unless we find an earth crystal, in which case Gurn will probably pick will pick it up. But that depends on you know where earth earth is, uh, is uh, which is found. I think alchemy needs looking for uh well no wait. alchemy ditched uh Radia a bit. So I'm wondering what. Is being looked for. It has, it has, I mean, if it's not, I mean, I, initially I was thought, hey, it would be Rydia, right? You want you want her to be online, get get a spell, but um, at this point, um, this is just full full blown offense, this is, which is um, interest is an interesting decision in itself. Agree, and you know, uh, I I mean, I am here for it because. Let's be honest. Uh, with enough hit points on everybody, you could just laugh or shrug off the big bangs. But we get our first look at the, and that is an Ogopogo. Uh, you, you sir, have gotten your wish into existence for the sea. <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping it for. I was hoping it for the second one. The second, uh, though, the second one. I Thing was Azura, right? So, this, yep. so but this is this is close enough. Uh, uh, this spot, um, well, kind of made up uh, ha the the King Queen Eblin spot. Uh, while uh, one one thing about balance is that uh, when you don't when when you have bosses in that spot that usually that don't punch, they don't get balanced properly. So they have uh, overwhelming power. They have power overwhelming. So if you don't take care. Don't take care of the boss quickly. Uh, they will punch you quickly and and your and your uh, make you reset. So, but Azura uh, probably not too bad. Pro uh, looks like the trick here would be to double stone star veil the same character. So a wall, a reflect is on Azura, preventing her from healing herself. Yep, and uh, you know I will say that you're a lot lot more kind than I was in my assumption for. Uh which bosses were going to be here because um, I <laughs> I was anticipating Baigan being in that first uh, hook and the uh, that initial spot on the hook route and uh, that would have been very mean but also kind of relatively kind because you know nobody likes to see Baigan in the wrong spot Baigan in, uh, in that spot in the King Queen blood really spiking Bagan in most punchy spots is pretty spicy all around it. Uh, sometimes in, in there's no such thing as an arm grind. You, the XP on the XP on the arms uh, not a thing. But uh, looks, but some quake kit is useful. Uh, pop usually a popular strat uh, for a vanilla juror trying to get, to use quake some form of quake on a juror. Although uh, found out a juror punch is too hard. Uh, prop, not sure what in the ways of mage equipment. Uh, I don't think we've seen a mute knife, uh, elven bow, or a rune axe, or even uh, in terms of armor, the uh, Aegis shield, uh, rune ring, uh, the, a ribbon. Those those protect against rages. So those, um, and I think the penalty for uh, penalty found for not uh, saving in between fights. And uh, alchemy learning on her side that uh, you cannot exit out of Zot. However, you can use work to get out of here. If, you know, you had a Quake Kid that was alive. Uh, I think uh, Quake Kid learns warp much later than Rydia. If Rydia was still here, uh, that's that's an early level, like level 12 or 13. I can't can't remember which. It's, it's really, it's a one of those utility spells you uh, kind of Kind of like it's kind of nice to have, especially if you're gonna do like a giant dive or a sealed cave dive. And here's also one of those spots where warp is actually is um, super useful. So, you know, when you when you have no when you don't have tell in a seed, uh, you cut it makes you think, what could could this have been approached better? Yeah, exactly. And um, because uh, yeah, I think it's uh, something like level 13 or level 15 that really learns uh, warp. At, whereas opposed to Palom, who learns warp at level 29. And I know this specifically because I uh, actually did a check one time where, uh, you know, I, I was about to go to the Dwarf Castle and do the warp glitch, and I was just one level shy. Um, and speaking of stuff on the hook route, we see Alchemy going down into begin her descent to the hook route. Um, and did. I don't think Alchemy did the three trap chest in Neblin, because I do still see an Avenger Sword. 
Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, alchemy, pro like a lot of times, um, if you're doing the the Eblin Castle loot early, you will avoid the chests uh, unless you have like an hourglass and maybe have the ability to survive it. Uh, usually, it requires an edge at the very minimum. Um, can it's doable, but if you don't have access to uh, hourglasses, I don't think the shop had hourglasses in the first place. So. Uh, makes if you don't even have one hourglass, it makes a lot of the tr the chests uh, not easy and until you kind of done every other possible check before coming here. So it's one of those, you know, do you want to single dip uh, Eblin Castle but not get the trap chests, or you do, or you do it later? You know, it's one of those, or do or double dip. You know, those are those are, those are options on the table. Um, sometimes so, some of it can be appealing, some of it not. So you know from 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 a run respect you sometimes uh, you want to minimize uh, want to minimize but if you're gambling you know want hoping for especially with T wildish the loot you know the loot being good you may be considering hey, I don't want to take a second trip so I'll take what I can right now yep of course and that that definitely makes sense uh, alchemy finding a cursed ring on her side the uh, although uh, Evelyn shop, the Evelyn item shop did have coffins for sale, so it could very well just make that uh, trip back to Evelyn just real quick, real easy, because you know you only have, you know, after that first trip, you know which chests have the traps in them, so you can go to which ones you want to just knock out real easy, get them done, if you get something good, cool, move on, uh, if you don't, move on to the next one, and just knock out those ones specifically. Yeah, it looks like Garen took, took care of uh, Jura, that, which, is, which is good. I mean, this is un, well, under 50 minutes. Uh, I don't know what the uh, the average, but like 40, around 45 minutes is around about the time you want to have completed the hook route. I mean, this is a, beating the second boss is effectively completing it. You have to still, you know, exit with the Falcon, but that's for the most part uh, where you like to be as a runner around 40, 40 45 minutes. Uh, and I think uh, Alchemy picked up a cursed ring, so Alchemy has the advantage of cursing the Sib, which, while uh, Sib is slowest and will gain agility slow, uh, we'll need to find a, probably will need to find a way to correct it outside of maybe just swapping out a care uh, to uh, one of the level one characters like uh, the Yang or the uh, or the Rider that was eaten earlier. Yep, and. Honestly, with with this composition of characters, uh, it I mean, Rydia or Sid, uh, or you know, you don't really look to Yang too much for, as being an anchor because there's not much outside of a cursed ring to go and kind of assist with that. Um, but it it looks to be more and more that Sid would be the anchor for these groups. Um, I mean, Rydia with the the early summons and Sardis Rod. But, I mean, that's also dependent on if you keep Rydia uh, versus Palom or who's going to be your black mage. Because, honestly, in this particular seed, I'm more prone, like me personally, I'm more prone to keeping Rydia at my party because of the fact that I don't have your traditional or a traditional white mage in that regard. Yeah, the, 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 I think yeah. The reason to keep right is safety. So if you don't if you don't care about safety, then you better have power overwhelming. So I think that makes sense for Alchemy to do a lot more looting to co kind of compensate for that. Yep. Uh, I don't at, the, at this point. I don't think either one of them has found a back row weapon for Edge though. So that right now, uh, like you need a which is, would be just the boomerang or the full moon. Either weapon would be great. Uh, so top of tower looks like what Gurn found peaked at and is juicy enough as a target. Uh, we don't know which one it is. It could be Baron Guards, it could be uh, Kaipo Guards. We will find out. Oh, it's Baron Guards. Yep, and you know, without uh, much like it was mentioned earlier, without having the boss pit on uh, key prime example, just pop a quick coffin on them and they are as good as gone. Yeah, this is a, it's it's a good time when you you spend money on coffins. <laughs> uh, the pro better on boss battles, uh, on maybe some str some stronger fights, on, uh, enemy fights uh, has has been known to be used on like eggs, so for an egg grind, which pro probably will be the way to go for this seed. Uh, but that certainly worth doing. Uh, don't don't think we got got the life glitch, but hey, uh, have another Avenger for. 
uh, uh, a, a Dragoon not in this seed. Yep, hey, you know, it's, uh, it's as the saying goes, oh boy, another dart. I <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, can't have enough darts. Uh, can... So I think, uh, um, Gwern, the thing to do, probably, might, the next thing to do probably is, oh no, we have, to, we have the tower key, so you might, uh, I don't remember when the tower key was picked up, but good, good might as well, he must, but I uh, pick that, and this is probably, should be easy enough, um, low HP spot, so it's practically a free boss, there's only a few bosses that might make it a little miserable, but it's just one hit, call it a night. Uh, yes, and our newest meme from the Free Enterprise channel, Mr. Le Do 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 himself, Pal Le Do. Oh, uh, the, the sound, the sound of someone's people. <laughs> I love, it's, a, it's, you know, it is, uh, I, I actually like the, I like the sound. It, it, it tells you exactly what, what the spell is, so it's, it's memorable for that reason. <laughs> so I think the next place to go, um, I mean, you have two main choices, um, you, there's, Gain, getting the freebie, uh, we're still looking. Uh, we already have the darkness crystal, so we actually. But we're still looking for bosses, so uh, maybe uh, either you know, Fey March to peak a free key free item. You know, we're, our key item count is still pretty low. Where it's at five right now, so we're only halfway there. But peak the free key item, take a look at the bosses, or do the dense, uh, you know, dwarf castle. Uh, which would you go for? Um. So honestly, I would probably go peak the Fey March. Uh, I mean, that's going to be a free key item plus uh, a couple of boss checks, and that's going to tell you if you actually have to go back to the Fey March ever again. Um, some people do like to do the Dwarf Castle because that's two, you know, that's two bosses plus uh, two two key item checks. Um, but I mean, it's it's going to be most of the time it's going to be favorable to what key items that you've gotten are uh and we see on grand side the twin heart picked up um, so it's kind of a i don't know uh looks like that they are gonna go to the dwarf castle first because uh, yeah that's you know you take out a couple bosses and get a couple of key items um, and hopefully those are going to be some uh some key items that are and be getting some bosses that we need. And we see the first boss in Dwarf Castle as Dr. Luge, or Luggage, or Dr. Dialogue himself. Yeah, he has a, he has lots to say. Uh, although, this, uh, unfortunately, with this spot, he, he will probably get to say a lot of it. So, um, best way to take make take advantage of Dr. Luge would be to have a hammer. I don't think we found any, or because uh, uh, part of, uh, most of this fight is uh, machines, well, ball, banalb. I can't, I can't, don't even know how to say his name correctly because uh, names are hard sometimes. Uh, that they are. And, and the second form of Dr. Lugate, the second fight, not the second form because uh, there's there's one of the, there's a combined form where you destroy banalb but not Dr. Lugate in the first fight and then he becomes something else and kind of. Uh, Kind of pushes the uh, the explode button. So, but that was pretty quick. Uh, it's actually the good. It's actually good in this spot. Uh, there's a lot of HP in this spot, but also it's also split four ways. So, which made made that fight not as uh, painful as it normally is. So, actually, he didn't get to say anything. Yep, and um, you know, it, in this particular setting uh, on Grand Twenty Six's side, uh, it's not bad because. Well, I mean, nothing's really bad when you have a Crystal Sword Adventure Cecil, Power Shirt, plus a Zeus Gauntlet. Uh, it's kind of just, you know, the, the seed is on vibrate mode at that time with everything going burr. Uh, everything goes burr. Uh, this, I mean, we saw Mylon Zed at Baron Inn, so this is, so we know this is regular Mylon uh, with the Oh My Body, because now this, uh, the Golbez spot, not. Uh, not very high on magic power, uh, not not especially punchy, but uh, but also not a lot of HP. So sometimes, well, there there are boss uh, bosses that can be triggered in this spot, but like the, there are some bosses that will surprise you, especially depending on who who dwarf one happens to be. So yeah. You know. yep. uh, do, do you suppose that Mylon 
you know, prior to getting transformed in, into an undead creature, uh, really wanted to be like maybe a pop star or like a model for body wash commercials. You know, always talking about their body, like, oh, my body. I mean, you know, even even bosses can have dreams. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just hey, well, just enough levels to get Palm to warp, so we can pick up a free a defense sword. Uh, we already have Burr, so uh, okay, thank, th thanks, game. Another dart. Yep. However, uh, we see Alchemy going into the Dwarf Castle on her side, uh, where she will go ahead and see a defense sword which will actually go ahead and benefit her since uh, she did not pick up that crystal sword from Eblin Castle. Yeah, so I think over time this gets this this advantage does get amplified. So when when you have a, kind of like a kind of a game breaking sword, a game breaking piece of equipment spell, whatever over another uh, over your opponent, the amount of time before the uh, like when let's like, say an Excal or a crystal sword shows up for for alchemy that time is gained by Gurren, and it gets amplified a lot quicker. So, right, so right, kind of one of those uh, time to time spent with uh, crystals with crystal sword. So it's like probably five ten minutes already, and we'll still and that lead over, that will lead because what you know the effective time gained from that from gaining that crystal sword will kind of grow. So things that Gurren won't have problems with, Alchemy may have problems with down the line. Right, and so we see just based off of the key items that have been found. And did that say an activist for the job dwarf? Aquaculturalist. So uh, I guess you know, you know, uh, sea creature uh, master. I guess something like that. I, something. Like that. I feel like aquaculturalist. Col wow, words are hard, ladies and gentlemen. Genders of all ages. Uh, words are hard today from the commentary booth. Uh, Aquaculturist. There we go. Uh, so I feel like they're they're someone who studies the uh, the biology of marine life. Well, very much like a marine biologist. Uh, oh, hey, yep, fish farmer. Thank you, chat. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I honestly, so it's a bit hard to say. Uh, warning to anyone. Uh, it does seem to be flash effects are on uh, for rare inside. So please, uh, if you are. You know, sensitive to that. Uh, now is a time to look away. I'll let you know when it's done. Uh, but the the gap, you know, it's kind of hard to say because uh, having an Avenger, uh, having a defense sword is still relatively good gear, uh, and flash effects are over. Um, the 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 crystal sword is really really good, but having defense sword Avenger is still really good because Alchemy has gone ahead and picked up a lot of the similar gear, the two power shirts, the Zeus gauntlet, uh, the bandana. Uh, so the the gap that's, you know, potentially there early on can he be heavily negated, um, be heavily negated based off of what checks are good guesses versus checks that just did not pan out. Yeah, there is some luck to it, and aquacultures, uh, I, a fancy term for for fishermen, essentially, that's a fish farmer. Yeah, that's a, yeah, those are words I, I that I've never seen. I'm, I'm pro, I, it's good, you know, you know, they say you won't learn something every day, and hey, some more vanilla and something nasty on the other side. Yep, uh, and both are not required for this check. Uh, so... The there there's a to answer a question in the chat uh, why they're only grabbing specific chests. So in in this particular seat, uh, there are some areas that have what what's known as elevated loot tables, uh, meaning that they have a plus to their tiers. Uh, so whereas you will normally only see just kind of like a tier three through tier six or seven, uh, it's actually going to take that minimum up a notch. So you have. The opportunity to find better gear and not so commonly found areas. Uh, some runners also like to go ahead and just kind of pick up chests on on their route. So, like if the chest is not too far of a deviation from where they're having to go anyway, they'll go ahead and pick it up, just get a little extra, little, little bit of extra money. Uh, and as we've seen so far, uh, like when both players were diving the hook route, they both grabbed that Zeus gauntlet that was right there in front of them. 
yeah, you know, this, this part of it, you know, when you're looting, it's part part of its convenience. Like, is it on the way? And then there's also what where you're at to when you pick up the loot. So the, some places, like while the Mist Cave, you think in terms of vanilla, it's early game. Why would it be? Why would it be worth the loot? Well, because in the in in terms of like this, I mean, we're we're trying to. We're, when you're trying to go through the seed, you're not going to go through Mist Cave very often. If you're going through the Mist Cave, you're only going to come from the backside and try to check the boss. That is about it. So the loot in, the, but the loot in that place uh, for the randomizer, for the purpose of the randomizer has has a higher value. It so, the, so depends. So it depends on. How, so you, um, I'm sure you, you can look a lot of this information up on the uh, free, free Enterprise Wiki. Uh, to find out like uh, which which areas have better loot than others and by how much. So you know, in terms of like early loot, you, you know, Eppelin Castle has higher tier loot because of the chance that there's hey you might hit a trap chest. So we're gonna make this place a little more dangerous. And uh, hey, I, the boss we're looking for. Yep, and uh, some people will. Uh, how do I say? Uh, kind of just reset out of the. Uh, Miss Cave when they see it. However, in some scenarios, depending on what boss is there, like if they don't have a dialogue like Golbez or Dr. Luge, uh, in some cases it can actually be quicker to just kill the boss because they have such a low HP pool. Uh, and then if you are kind of a loot goblin like myself, uh, just kind of run down and grab that first chest because it's at least one chest out of an elevated loot table. Uh, and we see on Alchemy's side uh, that she has discovered a shop that sells Bacchus wines, which is definitely going to help out this party. This is an interesting uh, decision, by Gurren. Uh, not just, well, the boss is what you're looking for, but the the problem is this this spot kind of on its left on it, left to its own devices will punch you into the ground and. That's uh, not. I mean, this is like this is. Uh, I don't, right now, probably not high enough level to take it on. Prob and usually, this is the place where you do the D money grind. But we don't have quite the setup. And I think we're just gonna we're just gonna try it again. I get that, which is uh, okay. Well, it's definitely a decision. Uh, interesting. We're still Alchemy's still doing trap chest check, which is interesting. That was just as well. Yeah. Uh... Although, I mean, you know, much like was mentioned before, uh, you know, Alchemy did not find the uh, the lightsaber or the crystal sword in Evelyn. Uh, did find another Zeus gauntlet, which is very nice. Uh, I, you know, I'm loving the fact that non-trap chests are having just about as better gear as some of the trap uh, some of the trap chests themselves. I mean, don't get me wrong, crystal sword is nice, but have you found two Zeus gauntlets, two power shirts, a Stardust rod? And various other pieces of equipment. <laughs> yeah, that is the power of T Wildish or T Wild. Uh, T well, T Wildish definitely for this flex set. Uh, Mom Pop does actually get extra HP. Uh, in fact, uh, probably fill to the brim. The uh, this the element spot uh, is especially tricky because there's two bosses combined worth of HP. So typically, any boss that shows up this spot has near has max HP. And given that Mom Bomb also has uh, the the smaller bombs, the mom, the gray bombs and bombs, uh, which so they're also feeding into that same pool. So chances are uh, the Mom Bomb will have probably near max HP, probably like oh, something like sixty five thousand, but it has that ten thousand the ten thousand yeah. HP barrier that you that before it does the explode uh, mechanism that you that you see in vanilla. So um, and so the smaller bombs additionally have. Uh, a truckload of HP to Ether, so I'll probably needs like a maxed out Quake Kid, and I'm not sure that's even enough uh, H, enough damage to uh, kill them all. So it's one, so uh, there's all uh, the HPs for each for each spot depends on kind of the ratio, the relative HP for that uh, for that boss and its in the minions. Like everyone has their uh, has a certain amount of HP, and you figure out. The ratio of what HP to the pooled HP. So it's it's all math. Uh, let's not try to figure out the math. But hey, uh, Gurren's gotten Mom Bomb into the next phase. Yep, and uh, so it looks like 
Oh, and Gurn is through that because uh, when Bomb Bomb shifts into that pre-explosion form, you can still take her out if you deal enough damage. And we saw by the brief flash of light that uh, Cecil at the right moment crit the Bomb Bomb, taking her out and uh, getting another point on his side of the board. I mean, this is good to take care of. We got required boss, although XP kind of kind of uh, needed on this party. So a little unfortunate for the characters that didn't live. But you know, sometimes you'll you'll get your grind done. Might, might as well get your grind done later. Uh, if you want to get the bosses now, get your grind done later. That is not the worst thing to have happened. Agreed. And we see Alchemy uh, also uh, noping out of the Fey March, uh, probably never to return. Um, and let's see who's in the CPU spot. Yes, a very, very nicely job done. And this is a relatively free fight. Uh, it's gonna pop some, pop an hourglass, take their time, maybe have a bite to eat. Um, and while the while this fight's going on, uh, I'd like to go ahead and thank RPG Limit Break for allowing us to stream on their channel. Uh, much, much thanks to our people behind the scenes, Scala Kitty, for uh, providing the interwebs. And then also to the tracker, uh, Ribbon Quest, always do an amazing job. And to my co commentator, Deathlike, thank you very much. Uh, it's nice to be here. Certainly worth putting on a show anytime when you possibly when possibly can. I mean, there's a lot of matches to go, so there, there like there will be another match uh, soon enough within within an hour if we get that. All. And that was a lot truckload of ex experience. I think there's a life glitch involved, uh, so always good to pick up a lot of XP, especially at this spot. Uh, um, so that's yep. all, always good to see. Definitely. I mean, if there was ever a spot where you wanted a, uh, a free or pseudo-free uh, boss fight, this spot would be it. Uh, because, you know, you've already spent enough time running through the Giant of Babel, uh, going through that first fight, knocking out all that extra health. And not just regular health, but just that extra health because it's Bomb Bomb specifically. Uh, the cutscene animation. So you want a free fight in that spot, or as free as can be. Yeah, this. I mean, the the alternative is walking out, and walking out, well, not the worst, not uh, not exciting, but you know, the you know, there are some merits if you know it's the fight not uh, that you're not looking for. Like, it makes sense, but that, it was a free fight, so taking on that free fight with that experience gained, uh, certainly worth the time taken too. So I definitely I agree with the decision. Hey, uh, what do you have to walk out? No, 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 definitely not, and. Uh... Uh, to kind of add on to that, it is a, you know, much like was kind of mentioned, uh, it is a spot that you can go ahead and uh, do the life glitch on. So get a little extra experience when you don't quite have, you know, the 10 key items just yet. So Alchemy's decided to take on Leviathan. Um, usually it's not a difficult, it's, the boss fight isn't difficult in itself. Um, the only kind of pseudo worries that you'd have to worry about is the Ice 2, uh, it will do a certain amount of damage. Uh, the multiplier isn't too high, but it, I think it probably would uh, probably take out uh, Palum or Edward uh, outright with one with one shot, and we'll see that right there. <laughs> speaking of speaking of one shot, there it is. Uh, but uh, um, but the 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 difficulty in this battle is really how much you know, HP uh, Leviathan has, and there. I think there's a lot of damage to go around on um, the Avenger, the Spoon. That's more, but um, you know we don't have. We're not taking advantage of a weakness like uh, if we had a Yang, you know, Thunderclaw. Although you know, actually, uh, Edward with a Thunderclaw. I'm not sure we found one yet, but a Thunderclaw would make this fight easier. Uh, some lightning spells, uh, ideally tier three, uh, which is not on the table. So virus is the next best thing. So yeah, that's. Leviathan is just a kind of a slow fight with a, a lot of the good, a lot of the good power overwhelming stuff. Yep, and uh, you know, if you've got fast enough characters, the Leviathan fight is definitely easier. It's not by any stretch of the imagination an easy fight in the, its original spot. Um, but you know, with the right gear the, uh, that these these runners have picked up, it is definitely going to be one that you can take. Uh, strategically of course uh, and hopefully you know maybe pick up a baron key an earth key 
I mean, even a Luka key, something that's going to gate a boss and hopefully, you know, get you an extra rewarding point. Uh, and we see Gurn on their side uh, doing a quick Siren, uh, doing a uh, getting a little extra experience for Gold Dragons, because in the cave Bahamut spot, we see the, ca the Cabrera dolls, which, I mean, they don't have the boss bit, which is just kind of towed everyone up and... Uh, or, you know, hit him with some type of spell to prevent him from transforming into Cub Reyna and getting a, a bunch of XP for it. Yeah, so the, the thing about the Calabrena, uh, the share, they have, I mean, there's seven char seven uh, char uh, monsters there, four, six of them visible, one big doll in the background. Um, only half of them have the boss bit. So it's basically the back, the back dolls, the the cow dolls, the, the blue ones in the back. They, they're they the ones that don't have the boss bit, but they also have twice the HP that the front dolls have. So that's so, uh, term, it, so you can take advantage of that um, you know, popular strategies I mean, you, have, I mean, you, you, you use the same, a lot of the same strategies to that for the back row dolls, like hourglasses. Uh, if you don't have an hourglass, Toad from Rydia is is sufficient enough to do to do same work, and then you don't have to worry about the don't have to worry about the the, the big doll showing up. Uh, the the spot pun doesn't punch too badly. It is what is kind of punchy spot since uh, again Bahamut doesn't normally Bahamut spot doesn't normally punch, so not balanced and will punch hard. So if you don't, as long as you don't get to a uh, big doll, you're fine. Yep, uh, and I don't know about you, but when this game first launched in America as Final Fantasy II, uh, you know, you go up into Dwarf Castle and you see the, the dolls dancing around with that really, really creepy music. Uh, anytime afterwards, just seeing those dolls, it's like, nope, kill them with fire, cut them all down. I don't care, they're dead, run away. <laughs> they are creepy, they are uh, punchy, and when they turn into the Calabrina, they're just terrifying. Uh, I, I, they're like... The big doll. Uh, I have have the, 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 that's that's the that's the doll. That's the, that's the scary doll. Every the, the smaller dolls, they're all they're all over the place. Uh, they're all the same. <laughs> they see all this. They're all they're all they all look pretty and fine. But the big doll. That's the scare. That's that's the one that that's the one that uh, the, the horrors come from. That that doll. Yep. The glance. Uh, that's 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 the that's the murder skill. That's the okay. Murder. Okay. I you know, I, I now have nightmare fuel. Thank you. I'm just imagining a giant, you know, creepy porcelain doll, like trying to sultry, like being sultry and, you know, glancing at me, just like, hey, 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 wink. Just, no, no, thank you. I, I will, I will not sleep tonight. <laughs> but all the more reason for our runners to cut them down to go ahead and get a potential gating key item. And uh, hopefully, you know, again, just uh, try and, Try and see where everything is, because we, I mean, they've, our runners have cleared the underground, cleared most of the uh, overworld, and we 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 don't we only have four bosses and maybe uh, six or seven key items, so it's kind of uh, kind of wondering where everything is. Looks, I mean, looks, I mean, right now, uh, I don't think we're uh, uh, Gurren's taking an LST dive, which is uh, just uh, which is an interesting decision. The, I mean, it's actually hard to peek these. There's only five spots, and the chances are of a, another boss behind a gated key item spot, like say Earth Crystal, uh, or uh, I don't remember, I don't know where Alchemy picked up the Luka. It's either uh, the Leviathan or the Antline. Either way, like, I think Alchemy take it, took care of both bosses. So um, Alchemy's kind of has a not necessarily in the driver's seat, but has a little more um, has a little more, has some another option uh available uh you know checking the seal cave boss which is which at this which might not be as attractive when you when when you use the warp glitch to pick up the uh pick up the defense support at that crystal altar so um i think i think it makes sense to just take a look at each boss and maybe take on some of the bosses uh that that are doable immediately and not you can't just peek at them so yep like alchemy is doing another trap chest uh for the second defense sword probably i you know i i think alchemy is doing more trap chest uh, to see if they if she can find a uh 
like maybe a holy sword, something like Excal or Crystal. Um, maybe. Uh, we see Gorin going through the LST, uh, trying to, I mean, yeah, with, with the key item pool uh, that's at hand and the bosses that we've seen, um, the moon play definitely seems a viable route. Uh, that's like, what what is your uh, normal, or, or I guess maybe default uh, preference for tackling the moon? Are you a top down, or are you just, you know, uh, do the bottom first? Uh, I like... I like bottom up, but I also like taking the the immediate side trip to the pale dim spot. You know the Mur the Murzami spot because that is always the one off. And doing the one off, like I, I just like it because yeah, for first of all, like if it's a pass, like and and I don't know, maybe it's just I there is no bias to you know where the pass goes. But I like I just I always like it because it's one off. Um, especially when you have when your key item situation and you're like eight or nine, um, and you're trying to get the extra key item. The off the off spot allows me to you know get closer to the ten key items that before doing the grind. So this like you, I I mean ideally I mean at this in this situation the grind isn't ideal because not ten key items is not on the table quite on the table yet. So but getting close to it by just doing that spot, um, depending on the boss obviously, but usually just taking care of the boss gets you an opportunity of getting a pass. Even if it's not the key item you want, it's the key item you'll get. And hey, Azura, doing work. <laughs> yes, that uh, ever so unfair un unfavorable portion of Azura where she comes in with a uh, AoE life is uh, actually rather handy because, well, Evil Wall punches. Uh, evil Wall punches hard. Evil Wall punches you into oblivion. Uh, if it's found anywhere on the moon, much like Gordon in this case has so very much found out. Uh, but Asira coming in at the last second, swooping down with the life, bringing everyone back, all four, and Apple. <laughs> well, it, you did it for the XP and for hoping it was something. Hey, I mean, uh... Gurren has still has Radia, so might as well uh, let Radia live. That's that's or no, let maybe let Edward live. It depend, depends. Um, with the glass cannon uh, state that Edward is, maybe you want Radia up. Uh, she'll at least more likely to evade some of the spell hits from from Big Bang. So I think uh, in, in so maybe having given her more HP, like if if uh, Edward stands with this, with uh, his base eight his with a uh, life potion heal that's about all he's pro probably gonna get and and if he f falls down again here's here's another life potion yep and uh we see alchemy uh taking out the super cannon boss monsieur le dude -du himself and for for those of you uh who are not familiar uh i uh the uh pale dim whenever you hit him so this is actually not the great not a good spot to really uh uh, display that because it is such a low amount of HP. Uh, whenever Peldim is struck with just a basic attack, he he does counter by casting slow, and the sound uh, and the, the sound effect is just uh, do 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 because it's them slowing down. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, if you ever hear anyone mention do 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 do, it's a uh, well, it's the sound effect from casting slow. Uh, the do do comes from just uh, some commentary that was performed yesterday and imagining Pale Dim as, well, a French Pale Dim. Uh, but we see uh, on Grand side, Dark Elf making an appearance, which, as we see, is an objective. Yeah, the um, Dark Elf kind of mostly harmless. I think the only uh, annoying, the annoying spot is the weak. And then the whisper, which makes makes a character become a piggy. So that's which uh, can can be a nuisance, uh, like especially if the person um, needing to cast a spell is becomes a piggy, and that uh, yeah, that ruins ev that ruins everything. But it's fine. Uh, uh, Cecil with the burst sword under the, with the Avenger glitch uh, allows him to have have his way with with Dark Elf. Yep, uh, crystal sword, crystal sword uh, bandana, power shirt, Zeus gauntlet, Cecil is going to, uh, you know, very much be a weakness to just about every boss. Uh, and we see on Gurren's side him taking 
full advantage of the second form of Dark Elf, which conveniently enough does not have the boss bit. So you can use items like uh, the Hourglass to stop him or uh, various other status effects, but not, uh, I don't believe you can use Coffin on uh, Pale Dim, or not Pale Dim, Dark Elf in the second form. You, I think you can actually poison the second one. It's actually, but even then, you want you just want to just go for the weak, uh, or well, you can definitely stop. The hourglass works. That's so, a um, not not too many options. But uh, when, you, when you let Cecil do his thing, is probably uh, the best <laughs> best solution to a lot of to a lot of bosses. And uh, hey, uh, squid, uh, that's not required though. But we're looking for the key items, so two key items in the ribbon room is uh, certainly why why a, a lot of top-down strat I mean bottom-up strategies come from uh, because this is the room where two key items uh, for at least in this case for Gurn uh, literally is a kind of a grinding mode. Yep, and uh, so in the, and then to answer a question in the chat, uh, we do have eight bosses listed. However, only seven are required to get the crystal. Um, so this way, you know, you're not stuck just looking for exactly seven. You do have the option to find one boss or fade one boss. Maybe you find uh, Bygen in a particularly nasty spot, i.e. <clears throat> cough, cough, crystal sword, altar, um, where you just, you know, he's going to be incredibly difficult at that spot. Uh, so you have the ability or the option to go elsewhere and get your seven bosses that way. Yeah, it allows for some kind of like divergence, uh, and makes makes kind of for, for viewing for viewers like it's interesting. Um, if everyone if, if everyone did the same thing, then sometimes then event becomes execute straight up execution. So having more bosses on the table makes does make things more interesting. Uh, not it looks like we're doing some looting. Oh no, lost <laughs> got, got lost. <laughs> it happens. Hey. You know what? Uh, in a place like uh, uh, Sealed Cave, where you know you don't necessarily go all the time, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you go in the wrong door. It's like, wait a second, these are, these are not the chests I'm looking for, uh, and you know, so you get a little turned around from time to time, especially when you've got a, a, a passageway that's at the bottom of your screen that's almost barely visible. Uh, and we will see. Uh, so I completely missed what was on Grand side from the ribbon room. Pass and package. So that's one key item and one nice, nice key item. Won't have to come back here after. After, uh, though I don't. I uh, think even the uh, the dark uh, the the Murazem spot, the dark, the pale dim spot was peaked at though. So I think we can uh, reset it out of. But for the most part, uh, this is probably not coming back to the moon after doing this. That, Outside of maybe taking on what was at uh, the Pale Dim spot. I don't remember what it was, though, at that at, spot. Uh, something that was not needed, because otherwise we would have taken that down. Um, and speaking of not taking things down, we see on Alchemy's side that she was not having any of what Sealed Cave was offering. Uh, Gwen's side, pick, uh, picking a fight with the Mega Sisters, uh, looking like that they are going to go about this because, well, we have everyone's weakness, the Crystal Sword Power Overwhelming Cecil, uh, which definitely a, a really good kind of strat to have Cecil back there because he is back row glitched. Uh, he's going to take less damage from being back there, but still be able to hit with full strength. Yeah, this spot, very dang and dangerous. Uh, the Well, probably one of the punchier spots, but uh, the only part character punching is Cindy who's in the middle which is considered the back row so she's not going to be as effective but it's the spells that Mindy is casting which is doing the work this spot being one of the like three spots with the highest spell power used in the game probably could be higher but uh, let's not let's not dwell on how, how much more damage can be done uh, the, the, the level two elementals or in the virus will do uh, do a number so uh, if you especially in in this fight, if uh, uh, the Protect Ring or the Dragoon, any piece of the Dragoon set equipped, will make this um, uh, fight a lot, a little bit more tolerable. You won't kind of want be one shot at like Edward was um, moments ago. Yep, and uh, if the fight does drag on, uh, Sandy in the back will actually go ahead and charm uh, your one of your characters. And in the case of Gurren, uh, 
you know, if, if Pally Cecil gets charmed, uh, that is going to spell out for a very bad day. Uh, and we see a pan pick up. Uh, let's see, it's going to be two, five, six, wait, two, five, six, ten key items on Garen's side, so that will allow them to go ahead and get, uh, uh, you know, that double experience that we've mentioned, 11. Well, so, uh, two, five, six, ten. So the pass does not actually count as a key item. Uh, yeah, um, it's kind of what would be nice if we kind of like added a, like a pass in the key item, but not Connor's key item. It's one of those like not it should be like uh, some. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a cool. That's that's a fun fact. Yes, pass being used to be a key item. That what that would have been interesting back in the day, but. Then wouldn't that be? But that would also be problematic if you had shops, because I know there's a there's a flag for shops selling those. Uh, but that said, uh, yeah, that's uh, Garen has decided uh, to do whatever was left. So I think Harp is on the table, maybe Pan. So I think Pan might be worth doing. Yes, and we see on Alchemy's side that she is going to check that twin Harp, which means uh, we will have some music here momentarily. Um, as we've mentioned, free, uh, that the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise is a randomizer. Uh, randomize the boss, where key items are located, equipment and all that jazz. But one additional thing that we do uh, is that we also randomize the music located here in Twin Harp. Um, I don't, actually, I don't know that I've ever heard of just how many songs are incorporated that the uh, these seeds can choose from. 400, uh, that being from the ominous Scarlet Kitty in the background. Uh, so we, yes, so there are over 400 songs that when you roll up a seed that it can choose from. Uh, there are a number of uh, songs that are from a particular franchise, uh, and I'm not saying specific ones because, well, you'll just have to roll up some seeds for yourself and find out. Uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, the box of chocolates, you know, you just never know what you're going to get. And yep. we see uh, Alchemy coming up to the initial Dark Elf fight. Uh, relatively good because we've got a weak Palom, uh, three people wearing metal, and uh, really just one one character that has to go down so we can get on to the next spot. Yeah, so trying to speed up the fight by kill, killing and killing themselves which is i mean that's that's how the battle ends so you want to kill, kind of kind of finish yourselves quickly uh dark elf will oblige but you don't want to go into the tri elemental hit sequence which takes a bit of time but it hurts quite a bit so there there he goes uh sit taking the brunt of it but uh, Ooh, hey that was 3.4 thousand damage he just took I don't know that I've ever seen that much damage come from Dark Elf in that spot. Uh, but uh, in just a moment here, we will see what random music we have playing. And for that, we will go ahead and silence ourselves.
All right. And we see uh, Alchemy through that fight, a wonderful rendition of Final Fantasy 1, and uh, Gurn on their side, picking up, about to go and do music again. So if you really enjoyed it the first time, enjoy it the second time. Encore! Encore! All right, and we see Gwern also uh, just noping out of that whole bit of existence. Because Artemis arrows are nice, but they are not a key item. It's unfortunate. Um, uh, from Alchemy's version of the fight, uh, so that virus did like <laughs> practically no damage. Uh, that spot partic particular has near max magic defense. So, uh, and virus not hot, not strong enough. If uh, hot, when you're near max magic defense, you need nuke or Bahamut, you know, Blarg or and, and, or rocks. Um, Leviathan can do some, but on but not does not kind of guaranteed to do four digit damage. So, kind of you're kind of limited to a few subset of spells. So, the, and anyways, uh, Gurns decided. Uh, I, I think that's the only that's all I have left. I, don't remember if the pen turn in was done because that is that is kind of one of those things uh, kind of burning burning a hole in my mind. What is what is that turn in going to be? Yeah. Um, so based off of so pen has not been turned in yet. Uh, based off of our key items, I mean we are we are pretty uh, pretty slim pickings on what's left. You know we've got that uh, the rat tail, we've got uh, Baron and Earth. Yeah, those are gating key items, and they could still be in a chain. So whatever's left could will more likely than not be part of a chain. And uh, I heard, I see, I heard magma key, oh, uh, underground access, again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We can get underground! Yay! Yeah, those are those, those are those are those are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't have enough magma key after the fact. It's a, uh, it, it's a key, gift that keeps on giving. Garen decided, uh, let's do at line first, which is oof. so I can actually pay attention to see which one gave the Baron key. Oh, the Luca, uh, wait, the Luca key. Hmm. Yep. So Luca key. Oh yes, yes. Uh, I am most curious. Well, as Alchemy is finding out that there is a relatively free fight in Cape Mohammed. Does, does, so at this point, we, we know Harp is nothing. Package will give nothing. So is, it's I think it's the boss that Gurn faded uh, the dark, the, whatever's at the dark, the pale dim spot, sorry, that gives the Baron key because that's or, or whatever's the remaining of the pan check, which is not which is not completed. That's so that's what's actually known to be left on the table that that we don't know what the results are. So that might that. Is something and hey, uh, so I guess the Luca key was from Leviathan as an apple a day keeps Dr. Luge away. You are absolutely correct. Uh, so the question is, yeah, and it looks like uh, I mean, with the numbers I'm seeing on ground side, yeah, I mean, you just you walk in and you, you tell that Leviathan who's boss, and really it, it's just Cecil walking up to the plate going, Look at my shiny stick. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be unfortunate for Gurren because that because 
um, will pick, he'll pick up the uh, the Luca key, and we know that alchemy alchemy's dive turned out to be nope, not not worth the time. So that's what's going to happen. Probably just forgetting to do the pan on. Uh, I mean, they only did the first part of the check, but there's still two two key. And Sheila might be actually holding the goods, and I mean, unless it's Val on Val on the uh, the pale dim spot on the moon. I, that's that's. I don't know. Val doesn't look particularly exciting, so I would try for Sheila one and two at this point. You know, uh, I I am right there with you. Um, you know, definitely doing that Sheila Sheila one and two turn in uh, to go ahead because I mean ultimately I think at this point uh, because you know both of our runners have been through the moon uh, for the most part and um, you know neither of them have done a pan turn in. Uh, Alchemy not having the pen just yet, uh, you know, ho hopefully, or maybe might just go ahead and do that check. Um, and, uh, yeah, because, I mean, that Baron having three bosses all on its own, all just kind of right there, uh, definitely something you want to kind of, you know, hopefully aim for or strive to get. So, looks, oh, let's see, uh, looks like, uh, that was amazing. Uh, Cecil still hacking away the doll, even though it was confused. So what? It's one of the artifacts. Oh, the, it, one of the. So one of the artifacts of the of kind of being auto -biz, or part of berserk is that uh, even though charm was applied, uh, whatever was auto queued in still gets executed. So, the, nope, don't switch targets. Just the first, only the first hit is hey. Uh, you're still getting punched, so that is a kind of a fun, fun kind of bug artifact of charm and berserk interaction. Uh, those yeah. rare things to see. Yeah, no, and just to make note, there are no bugs in this game. There are only features and added features. Um, this is a finely crafted game, and we we love to play it, <laughs> uh, even with all of its features and featurettes. Um, and I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, that's like uh, did. Gurn do the dolls and keep the rat tail? I, I remember them seeing seeing them going to do uh, the the Calvarino dolls. I don't remember if they actually kept the rat tail. Don't remember. I know there was a peak. There had to be a peak because you don't you those you usually I mean in this flag set it makes sense that because since we're doing a boss hunt, you always peak K value. This is yep. like this you like especially when you're looking for your last boss, uh how you know what's what's that boss? That that and this is the officer soldier, free XP, but not what we're looking for. So it should be a reset. There, there it goes. Yep. Uh, Alchemy uh, prompt. <laughs> That's a immediate reset. Not in the <laughs> position to fight Val in this in the current state of affairs. So that makes plenty of sense. Yep. And uh, with Val Valis not being one of our required bosses, that is a uh, that is a hard nope on out. Ooh, this is, a, this is the cheeky package check. Hope, um, though, usually a check avoided. Although I think it's worth doing early on. Uh, you don't know, like, it's 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 hard to determine whether this is a gamble. And but early on, if you're doing this early on, like, you, if you get the package early, it makes sense as a as a kind of a value check because. It, you don't immediately lose. You have plenty of time to make up if this check fails. It's harder to make up that time when if this when you get when you do this check late like if this is like kind of a last location type of deal i mean we have although in in this uh, we have only have to do seven out of the eight bosses but this is like kind of one of those if you have the la if you do if you have you know six bosses completed this being your last you know last temp of getting the seventh boss for for completing the objectives makes sense this is this is kind of a kind of a gamble to hope this spot has a boss that we're looking for Yep, and uh, fun fact for those who don't know, in this particular spot, it is possible to take out that character in that space. Uh, they have 20,000 health, uh, um, and so if you're able to deal 20,000 damage before Titan gets called, uh, hats off to you. That it, that takes a lot of uh, strategy there. Um, we see on uh, Alchemy side doing that direct rat tail turn in and getting the Baron key. Oh, that is exciting. Um, now, bear in mind, this could have the key, the bosses that they're looking for. This could have total zonks. We don't know. We'll find out. Stay tuned for 
next time on Free Enterprise. Uh, well, the bear key <laughs> is kind of what we're looking for at some at some point. So, uh, wait, and uh, there's three bosses and two key items. Uh, one and worth and certainly worth doing at this point. Uh, uh, that, yes, the pun, the puns keep on coming. Uh, yes. At this point, I've forgotten who the <laughs> initial boss was. At this point, we're I wanted to have, we are not, more than ninety minutes into the seat and have totally forgotten who that first boss is. Probably, Ooh. probably be quick and it's a, a pale. And that is a fantastic sparkle to see right there, um, especially because it's one of your bosses needed. Um, which brings Garen up to six out of seven. Wondering, uh, where wonder the wonder of Golbez? No, no, we saw Golbez, uh, at Zot One. Uh, wondering where the Vigan is. Uh, you know, I mean, given the theme, and we're in we're in Baron, maybe he's on the throne. You know, th there is something to uh to uh characters NPCs like that who uh. You know, you know he has he he had a certain rank, and then hey, wanted to self promote. So, what I like the chances that he's on the throne because uh, the uh, the Baron throne, not the not the Odin throne, but they the, the, those those are both thrones. Uh, but I think maybe at the Kanazo spot because you know uh, it's good to be king. Yep, uh, and so you know on Gar Garen's side, um, you know there's the thought of you have all of these key items. You haven't done the, the shield of one and two check. Um, Zot is still on the table. Do you go back to the moon to finish checking all of it to maybe get that Baron key? Or do you maybe uh, take, take the Rex, Rex banner and hope that Zot 1 pays off? Because we here in the booth know what's in Zot 1, but Garen, uh, Garen does not. Uh, Garen, I mean, for Garen, on the reason, probably would make sense as an attempt, like you just want you only need one boss, and you just have to hope it's in that spot. It's it's just a lot more comfortable to do Zot with the Earth Crystal. But you know, the I mean, I think it was one of the community race uh, where that where uh, everyone converged on Zot, like it was the only place to be and for that race. It was the only place to be for the final for the final uh, boss. So. Uh, Actually, it also had two of the two bosses that were in, in the objective list. So it's one of, it's one of those things where sometimes, you know, it's a randomizer. They can be anywhere. Uh, evil wall being uh, holding off the wall. It's a, uh, yeah, that's something. I mean, uh, you know, uh, something about rock in the hard place and uh, evil wall is exactly that. Who knows walls better than the, the original demon wall? Alchemy picking up an earth crystal. Ooh. How interesting. Uh, which, I mean, this could very well turn the tables depending on what's in that Baron basement and what's in that Zot 2. Uh, I don't know. It, it could definitely turn the tables because we see on Gwern's side uh, going after that Val Valos in the Murrah spot, uh, hoping to pick up that Baron key or the Earth Crystal. Uh, we here in the booth definitely know that neither are going to appear in that spot at this point. Yeah, the it's hard, and hard to want to do uh, Zot, even though when com on the completion of Zot you come back to Baron. But it's like, um, do you really want to have double dipped if you don't have to? And although in this case, uh, Alchemy might actually want to do a uh, white shirt. Uh, where? So wait, where did we pick up the Baron key? Alchemy pit has the Baron key, but where was this picked up? That I'm trying. Uh, it has to be one of the spots that Gurn fade. Oh, it was a dolls, wasn't it? No, uh, dolls oh. was the rat tail. Okay, so uh, was it rat into was it rat into Baron key then? Correct. Okay, uh, that well that well that was the thing Gurn fade it and it's like eh, got to do it. Yep, and we see on alchemy side. Uh, so you know both runners having done a lengthy walk in their own respect. Uh, you know, Al uh, Garen do doing the pack the two and a half minute package check. Uh, Alchemy doing the long walk down into the Baron basement. Each runner finding a respective boss check uh, or required boss. So the uh, you know it, we know that uh, oh boy, this is going to get kind of close. 
uh, because yeah, we know uh, this will bring five, alchemy up to five out of seven. If she does the package check, that'll be six out of seven. Then it's just a matter of that one more boss. Uh, where we see on Guerin's side going after the dolls, where they will find their bear, their rat tail to bear key to uh, if they do the Baron basement uh, seven out of seven. But it's a matter of if they do choose that routing. I'm trying to think oh. of, I'm trying to think of what boss spots are left, and we I don't know what Zot two, but shouldn't Zot two actually have the other boss? No, wait, the plague is that package. Correct. So, wouldn't wouldn't that so wouldn't Zot two be the black hole? It's like we like like. Alchemy's decision, ha well, essentially at this point, is Earth Crystal not having the package on hand. That, which is the, right. which might, which might be, uh, you know, because based on, based on the key items that we that we uh, we see, and then as viewers we know, uh, that is the likely direction Alchemy. In that uh, that is not the direction, not, not the direction uh, that if you're rooting for Alchemy, that's not where you want to go. But that might actually be where 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 the next uh, decision be made. Uh, where Gurren has only kind of one direction is to turn in the turn in the um, rat tail for the Baron key and then and then go from there. And Gurren will definitely eventually stumble onto the Odin's. It's almost about having uh, Bygen. Yep. Uh, which actually, now that I think about it, uh, Alchemy has not gone to the Giant of Babel yet, so would not have run into that mom bomb up there. Right, uh, the, the, and um, oh, this is oh, uh, this is this is Doom for the grind, I think. Right, this is not this is. Uh, are we trying to kill off someone first? This would it's either kill off someone or or try to do the D machine um, manipulation. That's that's the only thing I can think of right now. Well, yeah, uh, uh, it, it is possible that uh, Alchemy is setting up for a D machine grind. Uh, well, no, uh, couldn't be setting up for a D machine grind because you don't have anyone with weak. Uh, oh, going right. down. Let's see. Probably Maybe forced we'll... anchoring. But that's that's yeah. the forced anchoring. And we see Gwern making their way through uh, on over to to the inside of Baron Castle, uh, while Alchemy is going to go ahead and begin the grind on up to uh, some higher levels to get the, well, get the groove on. Yeah, so, it, 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 um, for Alchemy, I mean, when you're doing the giant, you might as well do the grind. Uh, I mean, the mom bomb did slow down Garen, like, there was a reset, so that could be time gained back from that, but the time, the timer is ticking as um, there's the chances of Garen going directly to Odin spot and then like walking that out might not happen. It might, you know, you kind of loop, try to loop your way out, um, you know, hoping it, the the Bygen would be at Kanazu, which is not the case. So it, it's so right now it's just the, it's the amount of time between uh, Gurren getting to Odin and Alchemy finishing the grind and then finding uh, finding the required boss on Giant, at least the first spot, but the second one, you know, that that's a lump. And that's just, and whether, regardless of whether she decides to take that on or, you know, <laughs> reset out of that and walk out, uh, those, that's, that's time that has, that's going to be spent. Yep. And, uh, you know, with having, having 10 key items, 10 plus uh, key items, it's going to make the grind a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't necessarily know that you do all 10 plus sirens here. I, I would think that maybe it would do. You know, two or three, uh, just to kind of get up some of those levels because, you know, uh, honestly, when you get Eddie over a thousand hit points, uh, he's able to go ahead and survive those uh, those nerf big bang rolls. But uh, it looks like that we may actually see Alchemy do all ten uh, all ten sirens. Uh, I mean, probably we're, I'm gonna stop. Definitely stop at when Palum learns medium, maybe or and then. Uh, media or nuke i mean and by the time you'll have uh any uh a kind of a z level ready for edge as uh h 
HP totals will reach around oh, quite a bit around the 2700 threshold, like the worst. That's which is the worst case scenario damage that Big Ben can deal to any to any character uh, uh, under un, under most circumstances. So uh, Gurn pro sees the Earth Crystal, but probably still will peak the Odin spot because hey, you're already here and don't want to waste time waiting because and because we, we know Earth One is definitely a womp. So yep. that's well. that's the and definitely peaking right now. Yep, and uh, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of uh, kind of a uh, approximately the same amount of time spent going to that Earth one, but given the power overwhelming on on each side, uh, you're gonna spend about the same amount of time, you know, between this bargain fight versus uh, the lower health. Golbez just with the extra dialogue, um, but we do see Alchemy continuing to do some some egg grinding here, making some scrambled eggs, maybe an omelet or uh, you know some uh, oh, eggs over easy. So um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, per per perfect scenario. We have Edward with the spoon. It, it only makes sense. Mm. Eggs. Hey, excellent. Yep. So, uh, um, so about the egg grind. So there's only certain like tiles that have the a particular different set of enemies. Like there's kind of like three different enemy sets. Like the regular set you'd fight around Dwarf Castle. There's this other set where you when you have access to the Falcon. So kind of like the enemies around Tamara. And then there's like a third like a third set where this strip of land and probably the southernmost part of south of the uh, Sills Cave that those that's part of that third set and that's where the egg grind is found and hey uh burr if you didn't already have it which great uh great alchemy i mean obviously picked that up but uh Gern has also accumulated a lot more time with the ultimate burr so it's uh that's a lot that's a lot of time between uh burr from from when Gern picked up the crystal sword in evelyn castle between alchemy uh looking for some sort of burr Finding it, finding it late in in the Odin spot. Yep, and uh, so I, you know we should probably go ahead and explain you know why we keep uh, exclaiming the the idea of things go burr. Uh, so burr b r r or three r's or you know if you like adding the extra r's uh, is just us using the shorter term of berserk or berserk uh, because when you cast berserk you your character just only does basic attacks. However, they are getting their action sequences off quicker, and they also get a uh, small boost to their strength. So they are going to hit harder, they are going to hit faster, and, um, you know, just kind of make things die quicker. Uh, we see on Grand side that uh, they do have their crystal now, uh, a grand old 17 of 17. And if I saw correctly, yes, our are they going to oh, okay i was going to say are they going to go ahead and do the uh the troya treasury where are we going to rate that treasury <laughs> rate that treasury that's not oh we're way beyond way beyond that <laughs> yeah uh Gern has, um try, was trying to figure out the jilly situation uh with Rydia being the anchor now that normally that isn't the greatest of things but uh, she's at level 50 well she's 51 exactly so she has agility of 25 so the ninja had trying to juggle in that uh giving it 20 giving her 28 which is kind of like a kind of a divisor a lot of uh black magic in terms of agility so she's at 28 uh, ideally uh she would be at 14 but you know we don't have a curse uh, Gurn didn't pick up curse alchemy did so yes and but, uh, uh i got a question for you real quick um what, what's up with this spot here? Uh, I mean, you know, are, are we who are we fighting in this spot? I, I see a lot of flags and like, you know, is that time nap time? Are we, you know, is it time for bed? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, afternoon nap, power naps. Those, those are pow those are powerful. But uh, no, no, no. It's it's the Z. It's the Wonder Z flags, as as everyone knows. Uh, Z is the f final boss for Final Fantasy IV, and uh, this is a randomizer, so. We like to we like to randomize something about this game, not just not just music, but Z. So we like to make Z pretty. Uh, there's over 500 uh, Im 500 images that Z can take for take in form, but uh, 
the question yeah. everyone wants to know, uh, whose butt are we going to kick tonight? Or to, well, this afternoon anyways. Is butt cute? Does it have a butt? And it looks like we have Dragomus from, I believe that's Dragon Quest. Or... Crystal- oh! Good gravy, one of my favorite games growing up. That is from Crystalis, or Crystalis. Uh, the, uh, which actually I just learned of a randomizer of that recently, and I, I might have to devote some time to it. Uh, so yes, does it have a butt? Uh, it is going to get kicked. Um, or as I like to have say said recently, uh, when, you know, items are appropriated, uh, who on the moon will get the spoon? And it looks like Dragomus is going to eat the nasty end of that spoon with uh, Edward popping a Bacchus and going to do lots of uh, keeping on par with Cecil in this regard. Yeah, that, it's um, certainly a race, a race to DPS, but that was not a nerfed Big Bang. So oh. uh, that was, and this is not a good time. The uh, nerf did not come in fast enough, and this is and this is this is what it looks like when you when you don't do the first big bang nerf. Still recoverable, a um, lot of damage on the table. Just hoping Rydia d uh, survives. Uh, that's why she gets the heal. Uh, we relying on Azura to make succeed two thir two thirds of the time, and she did. She comes through. Two, that's the sixty six percent chance she gets it. Hunt she gets it done 100 percent of the time i mean what better fight to uh to rely on the randomization of a spell other than a randomizer um and of course he's gonna hit 66 percent of the time 100 percent of the time or is it the other way around 100 percent of the time she's gonna hit 66 percent of the time there we go folks try not to do math on stream it's uh is a much much more difficult <laughs> because we we here are trained professionals, and you know we, we know what we're doing. So I'm tr I'm trying to remember if uh, the the Avenger glitch was being used on on this. Uh, so ideally, this is well, this is a hybrid strat. Uh, uh, edge will dart, and you're tr and trying to get kind of both Rydia and Palum to double nuke, uh, to reflect the double nukes, and hope that causes um, kind of enough burst damage where the next hit from either like Cecil or Edward or Dart from Edge to instant to finish off uh, the boss as um, you as somewhere around the 50,000 HP dealt damage uh, you want to prevent the, the the second the secret healing that uh, Z does this is usually, and usually kind of big, you kind of feel it through a small delay that, um, and when you when and ideally, if if they if they if um, it can end in a hybrid strategy, you just kind of gamble and that happens. If it doesn't happen, oh well, it worked. It worked out, yep. and there goes Z. There goes Dragobus down for a final time of I want to say one hour fifty four minutes and forty one seconds. Uh, GGs to Garen twenty six. Uh, we will see if they are up for an interview here momentarily. Yeah, GG's to Grin. That was a, that was a seed. That uh, was a had, seed. It had, it had plenty of fun jokes. I mean, who, like power overwhelming is the strat you you like to have, and this is one of those seeds you required. That's that strat employed. Uh, looks like alchemy, uh, I think might have gotten the dot done. So I'm probably waiting. And waiting on something. Yeah. So, so we will uh, also maybe trying to figure out which route to take because uh, you know might have forgotten something. Trying to figure out what they want to do. Because uh, I mean, when you get to okay, me... okay. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, seldom do you see in these seeds. Uh, going 17 to 17, you know, usually at some point it's that you're going to uh, figure out something to do. And by that dinging in my ear, I believe that is a uh, grand. Hello and GG's. Thank you. GG's, Karen. Yep, that was a little quiet, but uh, yes, you were coming through. Oh, that was a panic seed. 
Uh, that was uh, most certainly a scene. Uh, uh, I mean, 17 to 17 in sub, sub two hours is uh, definitely an accomplishment. Was it 17? I didn't even keep count after a while. I believe so. Uh, uh, according to what I'm seeing here on screen, yes, uh, 17 of 17. Uh, what were your your kind of overall thoughts on this seed as a whole? Well, like the fact that it was giant and package, we had to do one of them or both, and that mom bomb was in a rude spot in the giant. <laughs> yes, uh, mom bomb in the giant spot with. Breaking that that sixty five thousand health spot uh, health overall because you know the ten k barrier um, definitely not a preferential spot. Um, what was so getting down to the line when you hit like five like the around the range of five and six out of seven bosses? Um, what was kind of the the mindset in doing package over something like Zot? And not sure if we have technical difficulties. Uh, oh, still, still with us there? Yep, sorry. For some reason, we're shots work. acting up. Uh, okay, so I knew I needed one more if I got the package check. So I figured it was safer, take the gamble. If you get it, you have one more, and then you're go. And we definitely said, see that it paid off. Um, you know, at, uh, a question comes to mind. So a lot of a lot of people typically, you know, when they see a crystal sword and a pally cecil, will ultimately just more or less stop stop looting. Uh, we saw that you you continue to go ahead and loot. Was there any particular rhyme or reason for that? Just because I wasn't quite sure it was going to be at hook one, I wanted to make sure I had enough on the other people just in case cecil for some reason wasn't enough. Yeah, I th yeah, I think I think I've <laughs> participated in a race where uh, uh, there was an there wasn't enough Hanzo to go around, and you've got plenty enough to, you've picked up for edge. So that yeah, that was certainly uh, worth worth the loot. I say, um, when you were constructing the party, uh, what what were you what what were you what were you thinking when uh, you didn't really see a white mage uh, show up? Well, I knew it was going to be either Chemist or Ashura, and I knew I had an Ashura early, so I figured, okay, take the roll with Rydia. It did work out in the end on Z, because I didn't uh, nerf that first Big Bang. I figured I knew Rydia if I get her to nuke, usually if there's a ninja hat, which I had, then she's usually around 28, so it should work out for agility anchoring at the end. Just take your chances with the rest of it, and hopefully you don't get stuck in a very bad spot. Definitely, and uh, kind of plays into a question I had. What was the uh, the kind of the deciding factor or factors in the, the party you ended up going with? Uh, let's see. Well, I had Spoon, so Spoon was, uh, I was probably to take him. Had the Hanzo Steel for uh, Edge, so that was uh, pretty good for him. I already had some long swords early, so I figured he should probably be okay. He was getting some good dart material, I mean, Gungner and a couple other things down the line there. And then it's like, Palum, okay, there's your magic. And Rydia, it's like, well, uh, really don't know what to do with her, but I'll just keep her here and see what goes. Yep, and, uh, you know, I mean, with a, a strong enough team and uh, some cure pots and, uh, you know, sometimes you might need, you could use Rydia as a backup healer. Sometimes it doesn't even matter when you just blow things up into, you know, out of existence. But uh, yeah, moving uh, moving forward uh, into your next match, uh, do you feel that there's anything you're going to change? Uh, anything that you might have to work on? Uh, take us into like what you hopefully plan to do between now and your next match. I think I don't want to triple check the Earth. That was uh, <laughs> pretty scary at the end there. Or, or double check the moon. I should have just finished the moon when I was up there in the first place. Yeah, I think you picked. Yeah, you picked up the pass in the ribbon room, and uh, you had to. So, yeah, you faded uh, both uh, dolls uh, in the uh, Muhammad spot and the and Val, and both were well. Uh, one well, the Val definitely was a womp, but yeah, that yeah, that 
I'm sure that was, I'm sure that went through your mind. It did. I think to myself, well, I've got Pan. I mean, that's at least three checks. I've got the uh, two in the fame, which I faded earlier. That's five. I figured one of those has got to lead to something, right? Nope. Well, uh, it. I mean, in the end, it did work out for you. Um, a definite GGs to uh, you in that regard. Um, Deathlike, did you have anything else? No, I'm good. Uh, that was a good race. Uh, GG's again, Gren. And uh, before we part ways, uh, Gren, uh, well, so actually two questions. One, how do you pronounce your name? Because I've been pronouncing it like a couple different ways. I'll, I'll see. Uh, like the hockey player, Garen. Garen, okay, perfect. Uh, and do you have any final thoughts? No, but uh, GG to Alchemy. I'm sure it was a great race. I'll watch it back. And thanks for commenting, guys. And thank you. You have a great rest of today. Thanks so much. All right, and by that, uh, we are now joined by Alchemy. Alchemy, GG's to you. Yo, what up? That was so, that was so fun. Nice. I uh, it. I was gonna say, did you have fun during that seat? Oh, I had an absolute blast. <laughs> I thought, I thought, uh, what was it? Um, uh, the 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 the, the adamant cup flex it was one of my favorite tournament flexes. But no, it turns out <laughs> blue moon is my favorite flex set so far in tournaments. So good. Oh, and uh, so I have, so I have. A, uh, I, actually, I think it's. Uh, I speak for myself and Death like when I ask this. So we saw you doing a lot of looting during this particular seed. Uh, was uh, there any reason for that, or like, take take us yes. into the lines of alchemy? Okay, okay. See, I'm I've been around for a long time, and I know how to route, but I don't I don't feel very safe because my execution is not very good. And also, I always underestimate how expensive sirens are, so I always uh, loot, like overload, in case like, oh, I'm gonna need like 20 sirens, maybe 30 if I don't find the key item, so I should loot a lot. But then I always end up like, 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 gosh darn, Mr. like, Monopoly, Mr. Moneybags, and I'm like, ah, this is too much. But you know, <laughs> that's what that, but that's what it ends up, ends up happening. Okay, and so yeah, uh, definitely a great play early on, looting Evelyn, you know, going through Evelyn Castle, not doing the trap chest, because uh, I mean we saw some fantastic loot out of there, uh, power shirt, Zeus gauntlet, or no, uh, you know, all, all of these top tier items for uh, characters like Cecil and Edward with that spoon. Uh, was there when you got to Evelyn uh, and saw that coffins were set were for sale? Was there any? Uh, idea of going back to Evelyn, maybe knocking out those trap chests because you knew where they were? No, because I had an Avenger. I'm like, the idea of a crystal sword is very good, but I'm not going to spend time, first off, going back, and second off, uh, spending a lot of time on trap chests when I know I can get to the King Queen spot and the, and, and the Ruby Cantus spot, which are going to take ages. And it's not even guaranteed to be a crystal sword. And I was, I felt really powerful. With my Avenger and my Spoon Ward, so I was like, ah, oh, I, I, I can do this. I'll find, you know, I'll find some other, uh, some other trap chests along the way, which I did in the in the in the tower. They didn't get any luck there, but you know, gotta had to try. Yep. So what if I told you that Crystal Sword was actually an an Evelyn? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you make your choices. You live with them. Yep. And uh, and you know, we definitely saw that uh, when you were going through the hook route, uh, just with such great ease i mean it's you know like a hot knife through butter uh you were cutting down those couple of route a uh, couple of bosses um when uh oh words are hard um it's okay when when you were going through uh when you got underground what was uh with, with the few choice key items that were available uh, was there a particular set of routing that you were going to do well, my idea was like I'm gonna get stone on Palom and then go up the top uh, up the tower to do st to cast stone on the guards. But then, so I'm gonna do dwarf first. But then I remember that Palom and stone ex like ob obscenely late, and so I just went okay. I guess I'm gonna do tower anyways without stone. <laughs> and then I think I did Fey March. I kind of wanted to grind before Fey March, but I saw the bosses and I knew I, like I could take them on. Uh, I'm like, it was a little dicey because I didn't save, but uh, Avenger Cecil saves the day. Let's heal Twist Dots because he's OP. 
Yep, and I mean, we all love a Cecil that can go burr. Uh, mm-hmm. What what has, uh, in your opinion, because I know that you know you've been around the community for a while, and that these flag sets were a, a bit of a bit of a new thing for everyone, you especially. Uh, what would you say if you had to maybe guess, or just kind of you know based off of what you've done so far? What's been your favorite thing about the the Blue Moon flag set? The fact that it's been curated like it's been designed from the ground up as an only a boss hunt so there's a lot of like tiny tiny design changes here and there to make you sure for it to be the best boss hunt experience that the randomizer can provide right now it's honestly an absolute joy because seven out of eight uh, force hook route uh, it's it's not even a Demis hunt. I I I, I know Red Moon is is a, is a, is a Demis hunt, but that's like a different like uh, pu- like puzzle experience. But like, it's just honestly just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to search for the bosses because you know you're just gonna find them like sooner or later. It's not gonna be like a slog or like a, oh wow this one boss is out of the way. Uh, it's really rare that you get two bosses like the two final bosses in like two random locations, and most of the time they're gonna be just fine. It's honestly just an absolute blast, and I completely agree uh, because you know it. Uh, much like has been said, it's you know you've got the force hook, and it's kind of like a treasure hunt, but for bosses. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I, lo- I, I love treasure hunts. Hey, hey, hey! Hold up, hold up! How do you like the salt play, huh? Uh, I, I, we were very appreciative of it. Uh, honestly, uh, it was it was hilarious because I was like, ah. Uh, you know, I'm just going to hunt, you know, I, I'm i going to deep sod for the flame dog and like get the crystal sword. And then I open chest and I open chest and I'm like, oh God, this is going to be in like, in like the fork, isn't it? Of course it was. And then I was like, you know what? I'm already here. Like, what the heck now? And whoop, there he was. You know, it, honestly, uh, from, from our side of things where we could see both of y'all running, um, it, the, the, Biggest thing in this match, or one of the biggest things in this match from our side that we were able to see was that the che- it was the cheeky and the spicy plays that were <laughs> kind of the, the ways to go. Because like you did the Rex Banner play, checking Zot 1. Uh, your opponent went ahead and checked the package, which ended up being another boss. And, um, and just kind of, you know, I, we're over here going, well, you know, these are not necessarily common checks, but yet these are checks that are paying out. Uh, which is definitely something you don't see very often. My general design for the routing on this one is that last time, Rust Race, I made like a moon dive because it, it was like a good statistical play. And this time I did the most unlikely plays, you know, for variety. And also it's fun. And also, I mean, winning, so why not? And it was really fun and it paid off in spades. You know, uh, if my execution was better, I think I will have won, but it wasn't. So it's okay. Just gotta get okay. better. What I want, probably. But what if I did? That's a fun thought. Definitely. Uh, Deathlike, do you have anything? Uh, well, uh, any additional things to mention or bring up? But uh, I, I believe you had a, a question or two specifically for Alchemy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was, th- I was, I was, I was curious. Um, that you, um, you, you eat Iradia. I think you took Sid. Instead of Radia, I assume for an anchor, and I'm, and I'm sure it helped having a cursed ring. I think you picked up from uh, Cave Evelyn. Evelyn, yeah, yeah. I mean, th- I mean, your your um, your opponent didn't have that, so that was. So I'm sure that sure that helped. Uh, that was was that thing. Just you just want you just wanted the anchor, and that just happened to be Sid, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, early on, I had the options. I, I did not want Radia. Uh, if I had. And very early Leviathan, I will have kept Radia, but I didn't. So I had Palom for the powerful magic, and I had a choice of Jiang and Sid. And with the power of Spoon World at my side, I wanted the more the most powerful characters I could get early on to like blow the entire early early Sid along the side. But then, uh, so I did, and then I I just kept Sid for the anchoring. Yeah, that made sense. And I think, um, although Leviathan, I think, was purchase- purchasable from uh, Cave Evelyn at the same time. So I guess, but you made your decision long before that. So that, I guess that yeah, worked and, out. And also, and also, I found the pile of Cure Threes in Mysidia. I was looking for exit items, but I found Cure Threes, and I was like, I have Cure Threes, I have my Sid, I'm not going to grab it at Radia. He has 2,000 HP and one agility. He, I, he can be my chemist if needs be, and he was. 
a really useful chemist. He's my... What a good voice it is. The perfect uncle. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Certainly. Well, uh, moving forward, uh, Alchemate, the... Is there anything that uh, you feel like you would improve upon moving forward or anything that you would change? Oh, yeah, I have like, 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 you know, those cartoons <laughs> where like they, they, they got like a, like a scroll and they, and they like unscroll it and then it falls downstairs, like comedically long. <laughs> that, that, that's how many things I have to improve. But again, I really don't play this game much because it's funny. I, I get into the tournament system, I get like pumped up and I was like, oh, I'm going to practice. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I think about like all the other games I want to play. I'm like, well, actually, I'm not going to play Free Enterprise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think if there's like many areas I can improve, especially like uh, with like overloading, especially, and like feeling comfortable at lower levels, uh, like menuing, some, some like ATB hijinks. I, I have the knowledge, but I don't have the execution. But that's okay. Yeah, I, that I have fun. You know, and honestly, that's, that's the thing that matters most is you know, at the end of a seed, yep. win, lose, or the uh, ever forbidden uh, tie word. What's yes, that? yes, folks. I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't say anything. Okay, um, sure. That's not a word. That's not a word. Um, you know, it, at the end of any of everything, it's did you have fun in any yep. way, aspect, or what have you? Uh, you know, and if you can say yes to any level, it, it's worth it. It's it's what we're all here for. Yep, 100% agreed. There are many ways to have fun with this, and I found mine, and I'm comfortable in my truth, and it's great. So, that's all there is to it. Yep, and uh, with that, uh, as we begin to wrap up, Alchemy, any final thoughts? Uh, Shoutouts to the people that defeated me in, in waxing and winning. I hope they win the tournament. <laughs> that, that, that will be like, uh, kind of like, oh, well, you know, they defeated me, so so I'm, I'm, I'm like a big shot, you know. <laughs> like I won against this person that won the entire thing. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, not much else to say. Uh, you'll be now that my vacations are over uh, and I've been kicked out of the tournament by great players. Uh, you'll be seeing me in the booth again. Oh, so see you there. Well, Alchemy, we we definitely appreciate you being in this tournament, especially in this race today. Uh, we all enjoyed the show that you put on for us. And we hope you have a great rest of today. Take care. Same same for y'all. See ya. See you then. GG's again, Alchemy. Oh. <laughs> he'll, he'll, uh, she'll hear it on the um, on the VOD. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Deathlike, I, I think, is that it? That all that we're doing? Or are we just going to close out? Or like, what's, uh, what's going on here? Oh, no. There's more free enterprise action to come. I think we will. I think we'll move we'll uh, we'll move you to the free enterprise two channel for the match with Dathis and Mecca. Uh, there's all um, there's also going to be in less than two hours from now another a follow up match, Dekar and Dragus at five p.m. on the main free enterprise channel and Elvin Sorrow versus Bardic Panda on the uh, on the free enterprise two channel at eight p.m. Eastern, which is uh, five less than five hours from now so there will be a free enterprise match every, uh as, for the whole rest of the day as long as you keep watching nani there's more free enterprise <gasps> that's right folks when you go over there as we go ahead and raid to the uh free enterprise 2 channel uh for the match of dathis versus mecca do not spoil anything do not give anything away there will be newspapers flying uh, as I've learned, well, not personally, but uh, newspapers are typically bonked upon those that uh, do provide spoils, and I believe they can even be darted as well. Uh, so please do not give spoils. Uh, do enjoy yourselves. Check it out. Give the runners of today a follow. Uh, give our wonderful people behind the scenes, uh, Skyla Kitty, for providing the restreaming and interwebs, and our amazing tracker, uh, Ribbon Quest, as well as my co-commentator, Deathlike. All amazing people, all providing such amazing facts and knowledge and experiences. Uh, stay safe, have a great day, and we will see you next time. Yep, see you all next seed.